With tragedy in the Northeast, an 82-year-old woman killed by a hit-and-run driver. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Police say the woman had just left the grocery store and lived nearby. She was struck in the 1100 block of Bustleton Avenue in Summerton. Greg Argos is at the scene tonight with the clues police are working with. Greg. And Yuki, good evening. Right now, Bustleton Avenue has reopened. Earlier, it was full of accident investigators trying to figure out exactly what happened. That 82-year-old woman, she was struck in the middle of this intersection right now. You can see her belongings have been moved across the street. And tonight, at this hour, police are still not sure who struck and killed her. I come out and I see all the ambulance there. A disturbing scene minutes after six Thursday night at this busy Summerton intersection. I was shook because I never seen a dead body before. An 82 year old woman killed while crossing the road here at Bustleton Avenue and Hendrick Street. Investigators say the victim had just finished grocery shopping. Laying on the street in the northbound lanes. She was unresponsive. She had trauma to her head. Medics pronounced her dead on the scene at six. 20 p.m. Chief Inspector Scott Small says the driver who hit this woman did not stop. It was a possibly a dark or black colored vehicle, but we're not certain at this time. We're not even sure the direction that the vehicle was last seen after striking this 82 year old female. And though multiple people called 911, police have yet to find any eyewitnesses. There were um, some good Samaritans doing CPR. We have all their information. They were interviewed by accident investigators, but those individuals that stayed stated they did not see the auto accident. Now they're canvassing this busy shopping plaza, hoping to find surveillance video of the suspect's vehicle. Do the right thing. Turn yourself in. Call 911. And back here live, the victim was carrying grocery bags from that market right there. Net cost. We went inside. We spoke with the manager, asked him if he happened to know who this person was. He says he did not see her. Meanwhile, police and crime scene investigators are continuing to look at the multiple video cameras throughout this area, trying to identify that dark vehicle. I'm live here in the Northeast. Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.